Hello guys, welcome to the knowledge domain, the concept of life sciences and biotechnology. Today we are going to discuss the interference RNA. This is also known as the post translational gene silencing. This is a conjured biological response to the double standard RNA. This is because the double standard RNA can clearly trigger alterations at the genomic level. How? It mediates resistance against the endogenous parasites as well as the exogenous pathogenic nucleases. So it regulates a lot of type of gene expressions. And it is a natural mechanism for specific sequence specific gene silencing. When we understood the natural mechanism of the sequence specific gene silencing, this tool is used for the experimental biology. And this tool revolutionizes the experimental biology. This can be used in the areas like the functional genomics. When we want to study the function for specific genes, we can knock down those specific genes using the RNA interference technology. It can be used for the therapeutic intervention as well as in improving the crop quality. So in understanding how the this is a natural way of the processing of the double standard RNA inside a cell. When there is a virus infection, there is a synthesis of the RNA, or there is a synthesis of the aberrant transcript, as well as the transposons from the repetitive sequence of the genome. There is a primary microRNA stretch, or there is a double standard RNA. So this double standard RNA, as well as the primary micro R, long micro RNA, these are processed by the DROSA, which is a RNA tree that process it or that initiate the RNA interference process and it produces the SHRNA, the process SHRNA. And this primary micro RNA is processed into the pre micro RNA, pre micro RNA is processed into the SHRNA. This is on this pathway, and on this pathway, it is the double stranded RNA from the viruses, they were processed into the SHRNA. And from the nucleus, they were exported into the cytoplasm by the export in pipe. Then in the cytoplasm, the SHRNA, this is processed by another RNA tree enzyme, the dicer into the SIRNA. This is called a small interference RNA, or it can be a micro RNA where you can see there is a mismatch. So this SIRNA, as well as the micro RNA, they load into the RNA into silencing complex. This is an effector nucleate. So to understand this process, so this is the SIRNA, which is a around 22 nucleotide in length, and this is double stranded. And here you can see the two star because of this mutation, the nuclease activity of the dicer is occurred at 22 nucleotide interval. It is 22 30 nucleotide. So in average, it is 22 nucleotide interval. So you get a duplex of the RNA that is present the inactive RNA induced silencing complex. So when there is a activation of this inactive RISC by the presence of an ATP. There is the unwinding of this SIRNA and there is the hybridization of this one strand of the SIRNA into the mRNA where you can see that the 5 dash terminus is capped with the N70 and there is a poly A in the mRNA. So there is a hybridization in it. Here there is another thing to notice that the inactive RISC and the active RISC, there is a difference in the size of the protein. So this is 250 to 500 kilodalton, and when it is active, it is around 100 kilodalton in size. So here there is a loading, and after the loading, the RISC means RNA into silencing complex become active. And after the unwinding of the SIRNA or unwinding of the means imperfect met SIRNA or the micro RNA, there is a hybridization of this one straight with the mRNA. At the same time, here you can see the 3 dash untranslated region. 
two the seed sequence of micro RNA also associated with the RNA induced silencing complex to regulate the expression of the gene. So here there is a complete match. The RNA acts. It leads to the nucleolytic degradation of the mRNA. There is some exonuclease activity also present in this case. And when it is not completely matched, like here you can see there is a bulge, then it cannot be go through the nucleolytic degradation, but there is the inactivation or there is the suppression of the translation. So in this case also, you don't see the expression of the specific protein when there is a improper match. So here you can see from the vector, there is a SHRNA prepared and this SHRNA process into the SIRNA and this SIRNA, they load into the RISC complex. So to understand in a better way, the size of this SIRNA as well as the short pin that we have discussed earlier. So this is the double stranded RNA that can be originated from the virus or it can be from the pre primary microRNA. This is the aberrant synthesis from the genome. So this can be usually from the 20 to 30 nucleotide. In average, this is 25 to 22 to 25 nucleotide. That is the process by the dye cell. Whereas the short hair pin is around 18 nucleotide. And when there is a mismatch, it results in the translational inhibition. When it is completely hybridization, it leads to the mRNA degradation. So how we prepare the SIRNA? We can prepare with a two-step PCR. In the first one, you can see the promoter sense and the loop. In the second PCR, we add the antisense and we get the antisense. It can be prepared synthetically by adding one nucleotide each at at a time and it can be prepared from the plasmids. Here it is the T7 promoter. This is the sense synthesis, antisense synthesis. After the transcription of the mRNA, they can be hybridized. And in this case, you see there is a three dash overhang. This is almost two nucleotide in length. And after that, because of the dicer RNA three and the uh, effector nucleus of the RISC, there is the suppression or of the activity of the specific genes. So this is the single standard RNA. Here this is the region where there is the sequence of the loop. And when we let it to hybridize among itself, it forms the loop and this is our stem. And as I discussed earlier, this is the DNA target sequence. And this I told it 20 to 30 nucleotide sequence. Here it is shown about 19 nucleotide sequence. That is the target. And this is the after transcription, the RNA target. And here, this is the stem sequence of the SHRNA, the stem sequence of the SSRNA, which is 19 nucleotide in sequence, and this will have it right here. And it will lead to the decrease in the expression or the inactive expression of the mRNA. And this is the plasmid based means SSRNA synthesis. So the sequence of the SSRNA as discussed here, it will be just after the use promoter. So it will be synthesized into the hair pin and further process with the dicer and it will lead to the inactivation of the specific genes. So in the previous discussion, I did not discuss what is the full form of the main the ST RNA. This is a short temporal RNA that is in the size of this is the process form of the SS RNA means process by the dicer and this short temporal RNA has a mismatch sequence. Thank you.